Hey guys, so, well, it's a nice day out today. And you know what? There is one piece of equipment that I haven't even got running yet for this year. My pressure washer. Yeah. I probably hadn't used it probably since October of 2017. So I think, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull it out and connect the hoses to it and we'll see if it starts. Alright, got it all connected. Got the water turned on, so first <clears throat> bleed it all out just to get any air out. You can do this as long as you want. Yeah, there's still a bit of air in it. So I'm going to do this for a little while and then we'll uh, see if it starts. Alright, I've primed it up. I'll just do one little bleed here. Alright, that's good. Alright, so switch on, choke, see what she does. Probably, last time I used it was probably since October of 2017, and it's now late April 2018. So let's see what it does. Oh. Yep, she's a little cold nature. She's running. Not too bad. Two poles. This is powered by a Honda GCB 190 engine. Same engine that's used on some Honda lawnmowers. But I think most of them will use the Honda GCB 160 engine. Yeah, my hose is leaking a little bit. Well, let's squeeze the trigger. Let's see what this thing does. Hold on a second. This particular pressure washer has the uh, idle down feature, which that means it'll, it'll, it never stays running at full throttle, even when the engine's not under a load. Oh, yeah, only unless you hit the trigger. Cool. Runs really good. We'll just give her a little restart here. I'll try and start it with one hand here.
That's totally normal on warm starts. It'll rev up just like that for a brief moment and then it'll get back to the idle. Cool. So my pressure washer is ready for 2018. I use it mostly on washing the cars. Only like if they're just a little bit dirty, I'll just do a quick wash on them. What I usually will do, I'll just get my my foam cannon, which it is. Yeah, right here I'll just put a little bit of soap in it and some warm water yeah warm water you'll get best better results in uh, foam you'll get a nice thick foam that way with using warm water I'll usually just spray it on the cars let it sit for a little bit and then just rinse it all off works really well in case y'all are wondering what brand of pressure washer this is it's a Ryobi 3100 PSI, 2.5 GPM, that means gallons per minute. <clears throat> I believe Ryobi still does make these pressure washers today. I think I paid $400 for this one about four years ago at Home Depot. And here's the model number on it. My grandfather on my mother's side of the family also has the same pressure washer so his is just a year newer than mine but unfortunately my grandfather can't get his to start just from letting it sit for a long time I've been trying to tell my grandfather to not use ethanol blended gasoline in some equipments that that he doesn't really use that much such as his pressure washer. He did have a problem last year of it not starting and and I just cleaned the carburetor on it. It wasn't really that dirty and I just put fresh fuel in it. I put true fuel in it and it started right up. And now my grandfather's having the same problem again this year. And yeah. So, I think that'll be it. Um, just one little <clears throat> quick update on my Lawn Boy 10323. So I'll just show you all this. Look at there, brand new uh, emblem. Decided to get one. And as you can see here, I got brand new wheels. I just installed them yesterday. Yep, they look really good. Alright, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And so, thanks for watching.